All right, so I done gained more details about this Francis Naganu deal. And I got to say, man, he ain't losing straight up. Um, he Not only is he signing like a seven-figure deal for every single one of his fights, he will be an anchor for the PFL star-studded super fight division, serve the PFL's global athlete advisory board, and will be a chairman and equity owner in PFL Africa. You know what I'm saying? So not only is he getting paid to fight, he getting paid to do other business things within the company. Dog, I don't see what what's the bad, you know what I mean? Like, I can't find nothing bad with it. And in addition, he will be able to display his own sponsors inside the smart cage and requires a minimum salary for his opponent that could go as high as $2 million, right? Um, And not only that, bro, he ain't even just got to do MMA. It's not exclusively MMA. He could still do boxing fights. So this is why he's been talking everything up because this is what his plan has been all along. Maybe with the UFC, he couldn't box at the same time like he wanted to, even though, you know, it was a possibility because he has been talking to Tyson Fury for a good little minute. And we know he's been bringing up Deontay Wilder. So now everything is starting to make sense, bro. And um, I'm not going to say Dana Wright or Dana White was wrong or anything, but they just could not come to no agreement. But the Professional Fighters League was able to, you know, compromise with him. And it seemed like to me, like, they down for everything he trying to do. And, you know, it wasn't just about himself. It was about helping other fighters as well as also with, like, insurance policies and stuff like that. So, hey, man, it's what happened when you believe in yourself and you stick to your core values, bro. And don't let nobody tell you different straight up. <laughs> Especially if you know you really ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see nothing wrong with this.